So, um, we're here again. Uh, welcome to Baking with a Hufflepuff. Uh, that's what we're calling it now, because you guys like that. Um, today we're actually going to be uh, doing one of the suggestions uh, in the comments that you guys requested. Um, and that is butterbeer, because uh, that's delicious. Uh, I've had it once uh, before, like officially at the Harry Potter studio tour, um, but I don't remember much from it. Um, and when I went to search for uh, recipes, they didn't. Re we didn't have much of the ingredients that it called for, uh, like cream soda. We, I couldn't find that here in the regular store. Maybe if there's some demand at a specific store they have it or in specialized stores but we don't have uh, cream soda um, so i'm going to do a special kind of recipe that i've developed now that i think is pretty good uh, and um, we're also going to do a latte version that was suggested to me by chris and irma who've uh, made that before uh, and thought it was really good. So I'm excited for that and um, Yeah, let's get started. So the things that we're going to need uh, for the first recipe, which is a fizzy kind of summery recipe um, a colder uh, drink We're going to need a small saucepan uh, a spatula that is heat proof uh, we are also going to need some ingredients, which are uh, some heavy cream and some brown sugar, some salt. Uh, we are going to need, you can't see in this, but we're going to need some water. Uh, some apple cider vinegar is what I'm using, but you can just have like cider vinegar as well. Uh, but uh, I like apple cider vinegar because it's not as vinegary, I think. Uh, we're going to need some vanilla essence. And I am using a kind of um, liquid butter. Um, but you can use any type of butter that you prefer. It. Uh, unsalted, margarine. Uh, whatever you like. Um, this is going to be entirely vegan, um, the same with the other recipe, uh, but you can use regular heavy cream. I'm using soy uh, because that's my favorite to use, uh, but you can use any heavy cream that you like. If you want uh, more of a coconut flavor, you can use coconut cream. Um, you can use uh, oat cream, whatever you prefer. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, do this. And as this is heating up, I'm going to add all of the brown sugar and the water like that. And just melt this down. And we need this to be at medium heat, so just lower the temp if you uh, uh, see that it's uh, melting too fast or start bubbling really violently. Uh, we don't want it to burn. So just let that be. And we're going to wait for this to uh, just be a nice uh, caramel. So now that it's melting, I'm going to take, uh, just to be safe, you don't usually don't need to, but uh, I'm going to check the temp for this. Uh, I want it to be about uh, 290 degree, degrees Fahrenheit and like, uh, 270, I think. Uh, and uh, 170, I'm gonna check. Oh, 112, I think, uh, degrees uh, Celsius. So uh, now that this has melted, it's nice and bubbly. 
uh, and caramelly. Uh, we are going to add basically everything else. Uh, we are going to add our butter to get that buttery flavor. No. Our vanilla extract. I'm going to lower that temperature. We want our vinegar. Go. I'm going to take it off of this now and just add like a pinch of salt this is to taste so it's you don't need much it's just to heighten the vanilla flavor uh, i'm going to take a tablespoon of the whipped cream because the rest of the whipped cream we are going to uh, add to uh, the top we're going to whip and we're going to add on at the top there and now we're going to swirl this in, just mix it in until it's dissolved and mixed with the caramel. All of the temperatures and uh, the combinations and when to add in everything is also going to be down below. Uh, full instruction, because I am very chaotic uh, when I bake. So uh, <laughs> I would understand if it's hard to follow. Uh, but we're going to set this aside to cool off a bit. Uh, it's a very nice car caramel, uh, very runny, and we want that. Uh, we don't want it to thicken uh, because we want it to be able to mix with the soda afterwards. So um, now that we have our caramel, we want to do, we want to make some whipped cream because it's amazing together with the butterbeer. And we want to do a butterbeer whipped cream to go with the actual butterbeer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, this hasn't cooled down yet, but it's a bit cooler. We're going to take one tablespoon of this, add it to our, the rest of the cream that we still have left. We want to just do this, just to mix it in a bit, and then pour it into either one of these containers or a small bowl, uh, and then whisk it uh, until it's fluffy but not uh, stiff. We don't want any stiff peaks, we just want it to be fluffier and airy. So let's do that. So this is the texture that we want. Uh, we don't want it to be firm, we just want it to be fluffier. So uh, we'll let this cool down. I'm going to put this in the fridge um, until later and we're going to just wait until this can be combined with a soda that I have. So while we are waiting for the caramel to cool down a bit uh, before we serve our butterbeer to ourselves, because we deserve it, um, we are going to make the latte one as well, because uh, Robin needs something too. Um, but we are going to uh, warm this pan and we don't need as many ingredients this time uh, we need some kind of milk or milk substitute uh, about one cup or the mug that you are going to use for the latte except for the milk base uh, for our latte we are also going to uh, add some vanilla extract just like before we are going to use some uh, brown sugar uh, like before and some butter I am still using liquid butter because I think I think it tastes good uh, not everyone thinks so but 
I'm using liquid butter, uh, I feel like it goes faster, but you can use whatever butter you want. Um, and then we are also going to season it with some cinnamon. Um, this is some uh, organic cinnamon uh, from Utekram. I don't know where that is from, probably Germany or something. Let's see, or is it Denmark? I think it's Denmark. Anyway, um, we are going to once again uh, try to heat up this and we're going to basically add everything all at once. Uh, we don't need to wait for anything to uh, to melt or anything like that. It's all going to warm up and melt together. Uh, so we're just going to add all of our ingredients into the pot and heat it together, making sure that everything is mixed properly. And then just, I was going to say plate it, but you don't really do that with drinks, do you? I don't know. Uh, this cinnamon part, you can add it if you want to, you don't have to. Um, but the recipe says that I'm supposed to, so I'm just going to add just a little bit. I don't want it to take over, uh, so just a dash. Uh, there we go. I am going to stir this with one of my balloon whisks that I love so much. Be careful when you heat milk because uh, it burns easily. So uh, take it slow, don't do too much of it all at once just to make it go faster. Uh, if you want it to go faster while heating up, you can heat it up in the microwave beforehand and then add everything and mix it all together on the stove. Um, but I do think that if you want the sugar to dissolve properly, you need to do it on the stove and not in the microwave. Because the microwave will, will caramelize the, uh, the sugar instead of uh, melting it evenly and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to keep it on for a little bit longer just to make sure that everything is hot and uh, delicious. It smells amazing. <laughs> there. That is all we need. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, and while this is still here, we want to serve it hot. So I'm just going to pour it into my cup. And I have prepared some whipped cream. And that is the latte one. So it looks very nice. And before we test that, we are going to do the amazing Vizzy one as well. Um, we do not have cream soda at our store. Uh, I went to three different ones and I didn't find anything so I just have this regular um, Vizzy sugar drink. Um, but I think it's I've done this before with this uh, type of uh, Vizzy drink so hopefully it's going to be Fine. I just hope it does what I want it to. You can see that it's uh, reacting to the fizz and just makes it all ooze and gooey. And it's amazing. Really looks amazing. Just all of that fizz. We also want to add the whipped cream that we made. Go. 
amazingly fizzy. Come on in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So this is the two drinks that we have. One is um. <laughs> Yeah. What happened to that one? It fizzes. Okay. It's supposed to be that way. Okay. I just fine. added too much. <laughs> Looks delicious and almost like it's alive. <laughs> yes, that's the, the, the thing. So this is the uh, butterbeer latte one. Okay. Uh, it is hot. Uh, so... Is there no fizz in that one? No fizz in this one. Oh, so you, you can actually drink it. Yay. Yes. You are not in the picture. No, so that's fine. <laughs> there. Okay. So it's hot. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's very hot. I want to put metal on this. Okay. Yes. This is fine. So I haven't tested that this one. So this is. is it... <laughs> you. I, I don't know. Mmm. 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 It's delicious. Is it? Yeah. Is it good? It has like a. I don't know, it tastes of Christmas, kind of like Christmas spices. Yeah, uh, there is cinnamon in it. Yeah, so okay, that's it. Then. That's Christmas yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, it's not as um, caramelly as butterbeer usually is. Yeah. But I think I prefer this, it's not as sweet. Yeah, this is not as sweet, so if you don't have this uh, incredible sweet tooth, this is, this is really good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Can I have that one? Yeah, you can have it. Thank you. <laughs> For your studies. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. So, and this one you have tried before. Your stomach reacted badly to it. Yeah, it's not for me. Uh, yeah, but this is more of the traditional uh, fizzy uh, butterbeer that you get in... Yeah, you can show that to them. You can see the bubbles. Show that. I don't know. If I don't you... know if you can see that because it kind of like, you get like little bubbles moving up. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but uh, it's, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's super nice. It's very sweet, if I remember. It's very sweet, but it's also really nice because the fizz doesn't take over. Um, yeah, it's creamy and fizzy at the same time. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, I will I will say that both of them are a success, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Yes. It's very candy like. Yeah. So the the fizzy one is more of a candy drink uh, than the latte one. The latte is actually really good, and you're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> I know. But it's very good. It's very good. Uh, so we're going to uh, leave all of the ingredients and how you do, how, how you make this uh, in the box below. Uh, so you can check that out and bake it with me. Or I don't know if you would call this bake. Uh, mix, mix it with me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, steal this away. Yes, good. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I would say this was a roaring success. Uh, do this at home, it's amazing. I would say the latte one is easier to make, it's faster to make. Uh, the whipped cream is not a must, but it's, it is good together with uh, the latte. Uh, this one, if you want more of a traditional uh, fizzy uh, butter beer that you get uh, at the Harry Potter world and Harry Potter studio tour and stuff like that. Uh, the fizzy one is, yes, um, more uh, towards that. Uh, and it was, if it works even if you don't have the cream soda. Uh, even though I think probably you will get closer to the original with the cream soda. Uh, so you could you could use that, uh, but this sugar drink is it's fine, and this is good. It's very candy-like. But um, yeah, 
Uh, tell us what you want us to do next. We're thinking something else from the books, maybe some cauldron cakes or uh, something else, uh, if you have anything in mind. Um, maybe uh, even the, the cake that Hagrid does, uh, but I don't know what it is, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, but uh, thank you for watching this again, and uh, have a great day. <laughs> I don't know how to end these without other people. <laughs> so yeah, uh, bye!